Hello friends, neighbors, Johnny Whiskey Neighbor here. Welcome to Out the Nook, welcome to Sunday. I am shooting some samples. I know they look more like bottles, but these were just given to me from Travis from PWS Imports and just the heels. Still beautiful, beautiful gift. Um, this is Cologne Irish Whiskey. It's a single malt finished in rum and PX Sherry. And then this is two stacks, 12 year old single grain finished in French uh, Moscato wine barrels. So, both of these are Irish because we're leading into St. Patrick's Day and I'd like to give you some thoughts on the Cologne and this two stacks. Three, four. Thanks for coming back. And as I said, these samples came to me from uh, Travis. What a great guy. Uh, this first one is Cologne. And I, I know that they have their own distillery, but I'm quite sure this is still sourced. It is single malt. It's aged in X bourbon for five years. Then it is uh, finished in dark Caribbean rum barrels and PX sherry, or portions of those single malts in each and then blended to give this final result. This is particularly batch eight and it is 55% ABV. Now I, during an Irish tasting, I feel like it was about a year ago, it was online, I did have some Cologne known as rum raisin. So I haven't had a stitch since. So we'll see what this really first thoughts are. Uh, just nose and taste. Ah, sweet and rich, dark fruits. That's probably partly mental, but living into its name. You know, it's fruity, but it does kind of kind of sultana raisin, like it's got a bit of that kind of note to it. Yeah, or anything that would be like like thicker, darker fruits. Um, it's not very spicy on the nose, though. It's more and not a lot of oak either. It's it's really a conversation about some dark fruits. Let's try it on the palate. Sancha. That is a really good Irish whiskey. Um, lots of layers of flavor. And there now is a little bit of um, some Christmas spicing to kind of back some of that thicker raisin fig note. You know, they suggested that there might be some coconut tasting notes in there, and there might be. For me, I'm not getting that. For me, uh, the, the nose immediately in the palate is that richer fruity dark coating i'm quite sure this is unchill filtered though i don't know if it's natural color um oh yeah it's just so rich not velvety is the wrong term but you know when something is kind of coating in the mouth and yet it's got that thicker nice fruit fruit notes like i you know i like figs i know many people don't but that kind of figure like that that textured rich fruit notes definitely getting on this one this is a fantastic irish i i do recall liking it really like a lot one of my favorites of that night and there was like i don't know 12 irish samples that night um and it remains just an excellent irish single malt it's a little right now on the long long finish i do get a little bit of bitterness a little bit of mechanical 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 note that you know i comment on sometimes i maybe i'm sensitive to that but I really like this like I I really like this and and should be buying a bottle of this to keep on the shelf because it's just so rich and so flavorful I know it comes in these smaller bottles uh, but but I think it's uh, I think it's really really cool and definitely unique Irish single malt one that I certainly recommend now I've talked to you about two stacks already in this uh, lead-up I think it was this one yeah the blenders cut and I like that little bit of peat in there, a little bit of all kinds of things going on in there. This one is a single grain. I don't know if it'll capture on the camera very well, but it is a 12 year old single grain. Um, I believe it was aged in first fill X bourbon, and then it's finished in French Moscato wine barrels. Finished for how long? I don't know. It's also released at a pretty hefty ABV, if I remember, yeah, 62.5%. Um, and it is natural color and non-chill filtered. So 
everything we see in here is exactly how whiskey should look because it's a, a statement of the cast. Let's go nose and taste on this two stacks. You know, that's interesting. It's also fruity, but quite different. Yeah, coming back, this is, um, you know, some of that sweet PX sherry is coming through. Whereas this, I don't know how to describe that nose when I think of something as a sweet, but sort of dusty sweet. And not dusty like in a bad way, but somehow, you know, maybe it's some of that grain note coming through some of that, but it, it is, uh, it's, it's sweet. Um, more like, you know, white grape sweet type, but then there's, there's just a, um, uh, I've said it before, like a husk, like there's this presence to this, uh, sweetness. Man, I got to get better at describing stuff for you guys. Let's try the palate. Maybe that'll help. Slancha. That is, um, lots of layers. I, I was actually getting some, you know, some vanilla toffee, which must be those first fill um, bourbon barrel starting to sing. That was my first thought. And then it went all the way over to like a graham cracker, caramel. Um, there's no peanut, but like a brittle. Whew. Better try another sip. Sancha. What a rich whiskey. And and there's a graham cracker or, or pastry crust back note that maybe I was getting on the nose. Some spices, but not the same spice palette. This is a, this has been really interesting. And, and my only taste I've had of this. Um, but I want to say, yeah, just sitting here. First thoughts. And... In a moment with you, this is fantastic. And I really like this cologne. But this two stacks, like, there are so many nice, different layers of that. I don't know if that's bourbon finishing. And then maybe is that that Moscato wine? I'm not a big wine person at all. But an interplay of, of that, you know, green, uh, sweet grape and... And then, you know, vanilla, toffee, caramel, graham cracker, pastry crust. Like it's just really going back and forth between those two things in a, in a flavorful, interesting way and surprising at 62%. Of course, I'll try these with water on them, but I'm, I'm actually surprised how much I'm just enjoying it the way it comes. These are both really good Irish whiskeys. Single malt, single grain, five-year, 12-year uh, Caribbean cast, like a rum, uh, PX, very sweet sherry. This is Moscato wine. Like, you know, it's, these are, are different. Each really good. I, I've, I've loved this Coloman since I had that sample about a year ago, still enjoying it. Rich, thick pudding, Christmassy. This fresh interplay between fruit and, and cask or, or, um, or boy, whoo. I like these. These are great. So thank you again, Travis, for sending them my way. Uh, of course, I probably am pre, like take everything I say with a grain of salt. When someone gives me whiskey, I am more likely to enjoy it than others, but I always try to give you exactly what I'm tasting in the moment and my honest thoughts. That's the only way I'm having fun. And it's the only way it's authentic to you guys. So these are pretty good uh, whiskeys. I've never seen this on the shelf, uh, but this little pricey, but I think at least once you owe yourself to give it a try. Either would be fantastic if you're looking for some Irish heading into St. Patrick's Day. Thanks for joining me. You guys have a great rest of your Sunday and just a fantastic week.